Hello there and welcome to another Commodore 64 playthrough and today we're going to play through quite simply the best golf game for the Commodore 64 and that is leaderboard. So leaderboard uh, set a new standard for Commodore golf games because golf games work on a computer and they they, they work really well and um, because they're turn based because they don't require you know, huge amounts of graphics to be going on. Um, but this game was just far and ahead the best game ever, in my humble opinion, anyway, that was made for the, the Commodore 64. So I'm going to set novice level because I'm just going to play a few holes and just show you how it all works. Um, but it's just, I just absolutely adore this. I used to have this on uh, a disc and... Um, I just played this to death. There were sequels. There were two sequels. Um, one I think was called World Class Leaderboard, and one was called uh, one was called Leaderboard Executive. But they they added more features. But it, as a negative, it slowed up the game because, as you've seen, they have to sort of um, draw the shapes if you like, and uh, if you start adding things like, they added things like, you know, really nice trees and stuff, and it looked great, and it looked smashing, but I think, again, it slightly sort of missed the point of uh, the, the whole playability of the game, so, uh, so, so yes, you know, it was um, great, so because I've got this in novice mode, the actual accuracy of my, um, of my little shooting, it's not going to make that much of a difference so you know if i if i if i you know if, if you play it on the harder difficulties you get fade and you get um it basically if you don't hit the ball in the middle it moves to the left or moves to the right or doesn't hit it as hard um so i'm just gonna tap this in yay and i've got there on par so if you don't know how golf works uh, <laughs> i'm not quite sure how much um help i'm gonna be to you here but um Basically, with golf, you get a um, a par score. You get a number of um, there's a number of shots you're allowed to take per hole, and you have the ability to uh, pick your clubs, and each one of the clubs goes at a different distance. And there's all sorts of sort of nuances. But uh, if you press the up and down, you see I've got a one wood, a three wood, a five wood, and so on and so forth. And in the manual, it tells you how far all these things go. But I'm going to guess that if I can hit my one wood well, then I'm going to get it all the way to the second island, he says, as it goes in the water. <laughs> Maybe the three wood then. Let's have a go at this. Oh, Now, you see, if I was on hard difficulty, that ball would have gone anywhere because I've massively missed the snap. So it would have bent to the left and bent to the right. And when you, when you actually get used to the game, having a harder difficulty does actually help because that level of um, bend can be an asset because what you can do is you can bend it around trees and you can uh, do some fancy things. So if you can't directly see the pin, uh, the ability to actually use fade and hooking your ball and all that other sort of stuff is actually a, a good thing. But, um, oh, I've hit the flag. Well, what a genius. Um, but as I have to say, I'm just playing through this just, just for a bit of a laugh, really. So... Your little stick on the left-hand side is showing you how um, what the slope is like. So it's definitely going to the right. So I'm going to sort of slightly do it to the left and see what happens. That might be too hard, actually. Oh, no, it was fine. So I'm now one under, which means I took four shots and I, sh I only was allowed to take um, five. And the um, the other games, you could have a little map that would show you like a, a sort of aerial view of what you were dealing with and so on. And there are more sort of features. I own them all. I mean, I actually went out and bought them. Didn't mind it. They weren't cheap games either, these things. But because I enjoyed this game so much, I did um, I did go and buy them because it was just such a good game. Uh, here we go. Da, 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 da. The only game I think that rivaled this was um, Nick Faldo Golf, which came out right at the end of the Commodore life cycle, I think about 91, 92, something like that. And from what reviews I've seen online, um, that was getting up towards this one. 
again speed was an issue from what I can tell. Obviously, I could play it because we're in the we're in the world of emulators and stuff, so I could load it up and, and do it, and I may may end up doing that. Uh, but I uh, I parred that, so I had four shots and I had four to go on. But it is just such a it's just such a cool game. You've got four courses, and each course has eighteen holes, so that's seventy two holes you can you can pick from. Um, I can't remember. I'm just going to have a quick look in the manual to see if the overhead view was in this one. Um, let's have a quick flick through the manual. Du, 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 du. Can't see it there. Can't see it there. Uh, just quickly check because obviously this is brilliant. Um, you know, brilliant looking at it. And the, uh, no, it's not there. So um, the later games did give you like a map view. Um, but this this one doesn't. But they do give you in the manual. They give you a picture of each course, so you can judge for yourself distances and things. So I'm gonna just give this a good whack over there. See if that's gonna have be okay. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Use multiplayer as well, so you can play with more than one person. You can play with uh, up to four people. You can do a whole tournament, so it's not just a, a golf tournament lasts four days. So you play the course four times, and it has a has that tournament mode. So you can you don't have to just play um, the 18 holes. You can play 72. Uh, I think it had a, a screen print option, if I remember rightly, which is quite cool. So uh, yeah, and I'm not making up these these um, uh, club selections in the manual. It actually tells you. So for example, eight iron is 138 yards. So it's it's the perfect club for this. Um, this situation so we've got a bit of a, a lean to the right i think each one of these divisors is eight feet so that was cool but i've got so much time for this game uh, it's such a it's such a good game and th there was a sort of um genre if you like or sub genre of, of of games where and it wasn't just on the commodore it's just on any machine that they, they they sort of transcend the sport they're trying to represent. So this may not be a hundred percent accurate version of golf, but as a game, purely as a game, it is just so much fun, and you can tell that it's starting to take uh, its own self into into the equation because one of these um, one of these uh, uh, holes is just on a little tiny island. So the whole thing's just just sea or lake or whatever this is meant to be on and the pin is exactly um the the distance that a one wood takes you it's the only way you can actually get to the pin is by blasting the one wood now in real life you know real life golf everybody hits the ball differences different distances because of how strong you are what clubs you use and so on and so forth but because this this game is is you know self-aware it's realizing actually that um, you know, it's, if you hit a one wood in the middle, you, it goes X number of yards. It sort of, uh, you know, it takes that as a sort of challenge, if you like, to get into the get into the pin. So seven inches. Make up your own jokes. There we go. So I've done well on that one. So that one was a five. That was a was it a par or did I birdie or what? Anyway, I've stopped. Uh, <laughs> Stopped. I've stopped paying attention. So this is a par three. So this is only a short one. One seven five. Look at me manual. So that's a five iron. Um, there's no real sort of you know some of these later games like um, that came on the the Mega Drive and stuff. You had the ability to overhit balls and do all sorts of really clever things. Whereas this is just simply you know that this is what it is. You you deal with it. And it's such a cool little game. I've got so much time for it. And I have spent hours and hours and hours of my sort of later childhood. It wasn't a, a big game when I was uh, like literally a kid. But when I was sort of in my teens, I would play this for hours. Because it's, it's a really fun game to play. It's not, you know, I've done what? I'm, I'm, I'm on hole seven here. You know, it, it's not, it doesn't take too long to play. And it, um it's just so immersive and it's got you've got those three difficulty levels as well so that when you get used to it and already i feel like i'm playing this on a bit of a baby level i could do with going back and um picking a harder level so you can got that sophistication but you've also got the as i say the four courses you can um you can just uh, keep playing this as much as you want. As I say, there's the other versions, and if the speed's an issue, I'm sure you could play around with the emulator settings so you could 
um, speed up the the generation of things and uh, yeah, it's just um, it's just a super little game and uh, you know massive amount of of credit to the developers of the game. I think it originally came out on cartridge and I think that was probably more for a, a security thing than actual. Uh, uh, just a good format to release it on. Um, and then with it being disc based, the, the disc would load in the extra courses and whatever. And I think you could buy like expansion packs, you could buy new courses, and they, 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 these are fictional courses, but I think some of the other levels had um, the real courses. So, what do I want here? I want a seven iron. Am I going to hit the water? This is the question. And uh, you know, they, just just such a such a really nice game, and uh, you don't have to be a fan of golf, which is the other thing. You can just enjoy playing um, a, a sports simulation game. It's not particularly sort of riddled with all of the sort of nuances of playing golf properly in inverted commas. It's just a fun little game, you know, point and click, and it takes you back to the Game Boy. One of the uh, popular games for the Game Boy was golf. And that too had a similar sort of feel to it in that it was just a lot of fun and it wasn't particularly sort of stringent. It just, you just played a game of golf and then you just had a lot of fun. And I just missed the, the lake there. You know, I'm sure now you can buy a golf game and it's the most sort of interactive thing in the world and it takes into account all different sort of variables about wind and about your clubs and about your setup and your swing and the the, the terrain and yeah but yeah for for a fun game for for a, a, you know something that's fun to play and something that's enjoyable there are very few games i can think of that are just more sheer fun than um, than leaderboard so i'm just going to check the video so i'm halfway through and i've done 11 minutes so if you want to kill 20 minutes, half an hour, play a fun little game. Can't really go much wrong, much further wrong than this, you know. And then try the four courses, then play it with your friend, and then go and pick um, one of the other versions and go and try that. And we'll play Nick Faldo at some point, I suppose, now I've mentioned it, and we'll see what that works out like. And, uh, yeah, so this is my first tricky hole because I think that if I just went for it, I would end up in the drink. So I'm going to sort of just tap it in. And you can do holes in one. You can do lots of really clever things. The the one thing it does miss from a uh, proper, in inverted commas, um, golf game is the ability to change the type of um, shot you want to play. Um, because this, this doesn't have bunkers, which is a bit of an issue because obviously bunkers are a, are a big deal in golf. You know, they set up little traps so that it's the, the for those who don't know, bunkers are just basically uh, pits of sand and they place them in strategic places so that you, if you just hit it normally, you might end up in a bunker and something. So it's a bit of a hazard. And um, this, this version doesn't have bunkers. The other ones did, I think, I'm guessing. I'll say I might, might end up playing the other version just so we can compare and contrast. But uh, because this isn't, doesn't have bunkers, you're missing out on that and also there are slightly different shots you can play as well it's not just a case of hitting the ball you can punch the ball you can do things with spin and some of the more advanced games um, allow you to do that but again because it hasn't got bunkers because it hasn't got some of the reasons why you would play shots like that it's um, you know it's not it's not really an issue so yeah there's, there's example that snap was nowhere near so on the um on the sort of harder version, harder levels of this, that would have gone anywhere, but it's because it's I'm on nice mode, and I didn't really know the difference to be honest when I was playing it. I wasn't a massive golf fan. I didn't know the difference between one thing and another. I just played this game, and it was only really later when I saw golf on telly that I realised, oh yeah, that's what a, a putting wedge is and what a nine iron is and what <laughs> all these things are for. So uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna get this. This is the first time I'm gonna fluff it. Yeah, because if you hit it too hard, it pops out the hole again. You see, so so it's cool. Yeah. So um, leaderboard golf, yeah, way, way, way in my top ten of 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 Commodore games. So much fun, so playable. It's one of those games where it's it's irrelevant what platform it's on. You can play this now, and you don't feel like you're playing an inferior game in inverted commas you know it's very playable it's very enjoyable 
the the manuals are online so you can find out all the different information about the clubs and the, the courses and things and uh, just such a um, such a good uh such a good game to play and a good laugh and you know something that you can play for many 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 times and just change the difficulty levels and just get better and better and better until you feel um you know confident that you are uh, a master of the game so let's see if that goes in it's gonna creep in no oh oh the crowd would have groaned if that had been real and the sound's cool you know graphics are great uh yeah just massive massive fan of the game so yeah leaderboard golf so if you've got any comments please leave them below if you like the video leave a like and don't forget to subscribe